games. You're in the game. <laughs> What's up everyone, it's Thumbs. In this one we're going to take a look at the Willard's Bounty Open 50 Doors. Now I've got this one a couple of times and I've put some thought into it. And you can choose any map you want, so which is the fastest? All of the maps have a different amount of doors to open. The two with the most doors are Spaceland with 17 and Rave with 15. These are also the two maps with the easiest cash up strategies. I tested on both and it took me 13 and a half minutes on Rave to cash up and open the doors and a skosh over 14 minutes on Spaceland. I filmed this on my second account so I didn't have the Reaver Machete, which could have sped me up a little bit. Instead I used the M1 and I got headshots in rape mode. Maybe with the extra $60 per kill I shave a minute and a half tops. It's important to note here that if you choose rave, the blue doors that you can buy in rave mode for $350 do not count towards your bounty. The fastest way to get this done is actually on Spaceland. Why? Easy. 17 doors times 3 games is 51 doors, whereas 3 games on Rave leaves you 5 short of completion. So what is the fastest way to do it on Spaceland? Pretty basic really. Melee all the zombies on round 1, buy the M1 and open the first door. You can put up your 5 boards and pop some pistol rounds into them as well, but don't waste time here, because we gotta do it 3 times. On round 2, body shot each zombie twice with the M1 and then melee them. You should have enough cash to open the door to journey to space. Train zombies in there until your meter is full and play your eagle eye card. When your meter fills up for the second time, save it until after the clown round. This could be anywhere from round 5 to 7. Then play your scope dollars card on the start of the next round and pile the zombies up tight. Shoot into the horde and try to hit 4 or 5 per shot at least. Repack them when necessary to maximize the 10 shots. It'll likely take 2 rounds, but when scope dollars is done, you should have enough to open the rest of the doors. The magic number is $19,250 to open the rest of the doors. Once you have the dough, kill it down to the last one or two zombies and go pop those doors. Don't forget the three doors downstairs and the one door by the wheel in Kepler that heads over to Polar Peak. You can check your progress on the pause screen to make sure you get all 17 of them and then end the game and do it all over again until you get your keys or your salvage bonus. It should take around 45 minutes or so to do this three times if you don't die or screw around too much. Hopefully this video saved you some time in your pursuit of free stuff, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.